fight? It was it was a really great fight today. Yeah, the uh, weather was nice, it was favourable all the way across uh, all the way across the Atlantic, and uh, it was actually quite enjoyable. And certainly you know, coming into the, into the overhead of RF Mara and landing here for the first time, a really a really special way. It's, it's different to other jets in many ways, but the, the basics of just crossing the Atlantic Ocean are, are the same for all. Do you regret not arriving yesterday uh, as planned? No, I don't. What, what, was, um, what was the run up to the decision like yesterday? Had you sort of got in the planes ready to go and, and then it was caught up at the last minute? Or? No, it was all uh, thoroughly planned. The, the decision to not go was, uh, was through a couple of hours of planning and looking at the weather. So a peacetime mission, as we're coming across the Atlantic Ocean, we need to make sure that all of our diversion airfields are uh, you know, in a very good weather state for us to be able to recover if something should go wrong during those air to air refueling brackets. So we had a look at the weather, and then we made a, a sensible decision to just wait 24 hours till today so that we could actually get the jets across safely. What was going through your mind when you uh, arrived here and landed at RF Mara? It was a hugely prideful moment. I it really enjoyed bringing the four jets uh, into the overhead of RAF Marum and then uh, touching down and seeing the four jets with all of the 617 Squadron personnel out and ready to receive them. That was a really special moment. What's the mood like back in South Carolina? Because of course you're the first of, uh, of many. To, we're going to have five more coming over by the end of August, aren't we? Uh, yes, yeah, so people are very excited over Buford. They, you know, they're keen to get back here and to get on with uh, the initial operating capability workup that we've got coming. So lots of excitement over Buford and lots of good support from the Marines to get the jets ready. Okay, um, if you could give me your full name and title, uh, that'd be great. Lieutenant Commander Adam Hawk. How are you feeling? I'm very well, thank you. It's good to be back. How exhausting is a flight like that? It's actually not too bad. I mean, it's long in duration, but um, in terms of the comfort, the airplane's fine. Uh, we take some snacks with us and we've got plenty to keep us entertained, so it's, it's, uh, it's quite easy and straightforward. And what was going through your mind when, when you landed and, and how are you feeling now that this chapter has finally started, um, 617 Squadron um, Well, it's a great moment. We're very pleased to be back. The, the clouds parted as we came over the UK and we could uh, start to see our home base from the air for the first time. Um, it, I must say that there's been a lot of work that's gone into us being here number of years of work both with the Marines and from, uh, from the UK side over in America to enable us to be here. Also from within the squadron, uh, the engineering support uh, has been fantastic to get us here. So we may be the pilots that have arrived here today, but there's been a lot of people to, to enable us getting here. All right, well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Okay, one question.